What is up guys, Captain Glitch here. Today we're going to be playing through probably one of the first non-half hack zero mission hacks uh, known as Deep Freeze. Uh, some things to note, it was made for the 2017 Winter uh, Contest on Metroid Construction. It actually won. Yippee. And uh, it was created by me, Captain Glitch. Uh, this is version 1.4. If you've played 1.2 and below, uh, this version will be very different from what you've played. Uh, if you've played 1.3, there's not really much different. Uh, there's one level alteration and uh, two bug fixes, including a perma stuck that MST found. Uh, so thanks for that. Uh, meant with sarcasm and non-sarcasm because obviously I want my thing to work properly, so thank you for finding that, but he also did it on stream, so, but that's fine. Uh, it made for an entertaining stream, at least, because his first time he streamed it, he also kind of destroyed my hack, trying to get low percent. So anyway, this playthrough is going to be a 100% playthrough, so if you haven't played the hack yet and you don't want spoilers, I suggest you do that and not continue further on. But, since this is pretty much a developer stream, I'm going to be explaining a lot of stuff. Um, so let's get into it. So we have a great story. Give you a second to read it. Pretty awesome story. Can't, can't be better than that. We got the intro. And there we go. See, right off the bat, we start with some missiles and power grip. Oh, let's see. So it's a spelling error right there. That's brilliant. Should have probably fixed that. Oh, well. And I start with uh, full suit graphics, which is always the best graphics. So, credit to physics slash dot slash Alex R for this tile set. Um, he created almost all of this for his uh, Metroid engine he was working on. Uh, I modified it to work with Zero Mission and added frozen enemies to it. So we got a missile tank hanging around here. And another energy tank over here. And so this hack is pretty short. Uh, I only had a month to make it. Um, so obviously it can't be very big, it's about 41 rooms or something. Something like that. Uh, but a lot of the rooms are pretty massive, it took a while to make. Got some more items over here. You can see the transition from that, it's a little funky, but transparency transition at least. Oh, and there's high jump. So I don't know if anybody will ever wonder this, but the Karma Box may have seemed random to people who first played it. And uh, that was, I don't know, just thought uh, they make them think they're falling into a trap at first and then oh, there's just an item down here. So that, that was my idea at least. It wasn't supposed to be some big thing. Uh, according to the story, space pirates froze the planet, and clearly they didn't think too much because it ended up freezing half of them. Some of them had been tried. Nice aim, mate. Also, yes, missiles, normal missiles are buffed uh, to where they are th one third of super missiles damage. Originally, in the, the original game, they are one-fifth of super missiles damage. So, super missiles do 100 damage, both in this and in the vanilla game. Which means super uh, normal missiles would have done 20 uh, in vanilla. So in here, they do 33. So, not a gigantic buff, but it's definitely noticeable. So we got some beam upgrades early on. 
which is always nice. And another hidden passageway. side hoppers in the sack. There's another one up there for sneak up on you. Ah, yeah, I, I can't shoot missiles and aim down because my computer's retarded and I can't put multiple inputs and I'm not using my controller. Probably should have been, but that's okay. Get some frozen side hoppers now. Also, beam fire rate was slightly increased. Uh, I'm not mashing the button when I fire, so I'm not firing as technically as fast as I can. And here we go, morph ball. So, this crumble block, I don't know, I just figured, put, give the player a missile. Uh, it could be annoying if you're going for low percent, as there's already another missile forced upon you. So if you miss, uh, not falling down that crumble block, you'll be stuck with another missile and less for, uh, extra items to work with. There we go. Got a little passage over here, and another missile. tile set change. Uh, I only did this because one, the other tile set isn't too versatile, unfortunately. And two, I wanted at least some variety. So uh, I did my best to make it look icy. But as you can see, this is pretty close. Uh, well, it is vanilla tile set. It's just recolored. <laughs> so we just got palms. Uh, you're locked in, so once you come in, you can't get back out. And here are the missiles that are forged on you. Also, some a subtle change, if you notice right there, the map. That's a map tile, the one directly above the Samus icon. That's actually a custom map tile. I had to make quite a few subtle things like that in order to make the hack. Uh, not look like garbage. Uh, otherwise, it would just be a circle and item dot. But it's clearly a chozo there, so. So we wanted to have a chozo icon on item dot. Got a waiver. Oh, this, uh, this, this spot is my worst enemy. I fall down there all the time. Got some violas in here. This Idor trolled some people. Uh, they come up here expecting a boss, and then it's uh, what am I trying to say? And because they're expecting a boss, they're, they're going to go around to the other save station. I didn't sell that, show that save station yet because we'll come across it later, but they'll go around and save there just in case they die and they come back and what do you know, another save. Um, that was on my attention of course. Originally I just figured uh, it was a warning that a boss was coming up and they, after they go through they see a save, but I guess that was silly on me because I would literally guard, guard boss rooms. So. And we get Imago. So, uh, normal missile, uh, super missile fire rate has been slowed. Should be just uh, for, to balance it out a bit more. But normal missiles do so much damage that they actually can, can still one round Imago. So. This is this is the only super missile forced on you. Uh, originally, it's because uh, Imago isn't actually counted as dead until you pick up the super missiles in his room. 
So in the original game, once you kill them, you have to pick up the super missiles for the door to unlock. Uh, Biospark and I have found a fix to that, a two byte tweak, but um, I figured instead of just doing that, I already had the super missile set up and stuff. Might as well have one forced on the player since they're required to beat the game anyway because they're super missile doors. And we got speed booster. If you saw, I kind of skipped the item text, but I go back to it. Let me see. Run long enough and you run faster. Enough said, right? So, there we go. Originally, there was a hole right here that you could grab and go uh, morph into to get out of this room. That's how people originally thought you had to get out. Uh, but these are actually speed booster blocks. And that's just so uh, I make, to make sure the player has speed booster and they get out without requiring an extra room state or something. So that's why that was like that. Ah, that hole, dude. See, there's some protect the spike thing sticking out of the ground. It's supposed to be a little hint to try and spark up there. And you get the wonderful plasma beam. Uh, some of you maybe think, well, how was I supposed to know that I could even shine spark up there? Well, that's what this is for. You could climb up. Like, oh, I need a speed boost. So. Let's go ahead and go over here. Got another missile. And we got some water. That actually looks like acid, but we won't talk about that. Underwater movement is no longer her endurance, however, frigid water seems to negate that ability. We got a gravity suit. Frigid water. It's gonna have uh, more to do with that, but uh, it just ended up being the only kind of water in the game. There's that I can actually. Um, what am I trying to say? Okay, so let's explain the suit first. So this is actually Varia suit, uh, just reskinned and renamed to look like Gravity. So Gravity. So that's why. Gravity doesn't work in the water because it's actually not a gravity suit. However, I originally guess I'm gonna make this work in normal water and have it. Um... Man, I'm bad at explaining things. So you can. I was gonna make a code that checks the area you're in. So this area would have been the frigid area, which means the water here would have been the frigid water. And the second area, which didn't get uh, make it into the hack, would be not frigid. So gravity suit would work in those areas, and not uh, not in here, unless you had another suit. So that obviously didn't make it in. So before I do what I'm doing right now, I want to go ahead and show y'all. So there's a little thing up here. So if you can already see what we have to do, the glorious shine spark puzzles. Don't worry, this is not required to beat the heck. And it's also actually not that hard to do. So let me just show you how to do it. There's actually multiple ways to do it. This is this, this is 
the easiest way. And there it is. You can get power bombs without doing this. Uh, I think at 1.2 you had to do this to get power bombs. Uh, but I changed that. But for 100% you have to do that. And that's the only, only kind of puzzle that's like that to get items. So, now we're going to want to go back to the spawn room. We can actually beat the game now, but we're not going to do that. We're going to get 100%. So we're actually going to want to go back to the spawn room because us killing Imago triggered a, a sprite set change that will allow us to go in a certain locked door. But we should explore this room first. Get ourselves a missile. Ourselves. Uh, okay, I'm not sure how that ended up, but. As you can see, he actually takes three supers to kill. Um, uh, originally, he would take one and the three missiles like normal. And also, he would have left by now if this was vanilla, because he sets a timer. So he always leaves when the timer runs out. However, this is completely Biosberg. I had no clue that he was setting a timer because I'm a goofball and wasn't paying attention. But he helped me figure that out and he just had it to the timer. It's never red or something like that. And so he'll always stay until you kill him or until you die. So. There we go. Kill him. And we get charge beam. Probably the most useless beam in zero mission. And yes. Charge that beam. Now let's go to the spawn room. That was our original destination. Actually, we can make another pit stop. That guy had a lot of health. Let's, let's go over here real quick. A couple items we want. So originally, people kind of considered this like an FU he secret because there's no hint at all. So, I did a slight modification, added this little spike right here. Made players think, oh, there might be some back there. So, let's get a refill. Uh, safety save. Let's see. And there's a lovely power bomb door that we can open. Mm, this looks like a boss room. Map tells us it's a boss room. I wonder what item we're getting. Ah, ice suit. So yes, this is actually gravity suit. And it tells you that frigid water doesn't slow you down anymore. And I probably won't handle heat well. Again, that was going to be something that I was going to actually uh, implement. But my ambition got the best of me. So, door locks you in. And Ridley fight starts. So, pretty much the same Ridley fight, except you can do this. It's not hard on anyway, even if you don't do that. You just do this. A couple of charge beam shots. And there you go. And a cutscene that doesn't matter. Uh, I s don't know how to get rid of those. But, uh, I spent a couple hours trying to figure it out. And I just 
couple hours over multiple days. And I just couldn't figure out how to do it. How to make them go away without crashing the game. Uh, the closest I got was to make it go away, but it would restart the fight again. Which is obviously not what we want. So I was just like, eh. So, now we're going back to the spawn room. And what is this guy doing here? Oops, sounds like a door unlocked. It's an item up here. Boom. Now, you, that's, you don't need a bomb jump to get up there because space jump is in the sack. But, I don't want to go through the same rooms over and over. So you come to this little area, separate it off the map, and there's a locked door. Open hatch. Oh, and there's great. And there he goes. So, originally the, that hatch was open the whole time, and you could just leave the fight and then re-enter re and you'd have to start over. And so if you got knocked out by his spikes or something, you'd have to restart the fight, which is really annoying. So, and that was for multiple reasons, because Kray doesn't actually have code that unlocks his door. So there's some extra code added that unlocks the door the second you kill him, so you can skip the cutscene and his death animation. Uh, otherwise, there's nothing else in his room, so there's no point of staying in there. It's, but you may be thinking, if there's nothing in this room, what was the point of doing that? Well, this door's open. Let's go take a look. Oh, little hidden missile down there. Trying to, trying to hide from us. It's a super. Oh, we got us some overkill. Kill everything. Cool. So yes, little hidden area. Get you some good items. So with that open, I mean with that uh, new item we just got, we can actually go to another area that wasn't present in versions before 1.3. That was brilliant. So, there's a little, little thing on the map right here. It tells us there's something down there. There's also a little hint with the spikes. And the music changed. Space pirate music. Grab a missile. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's a pirate. But no alarm music. That's actually also custom code. Yeah, the pirate alarm music and pirate alarm itself is actually really annoying to mess with, but with some modifications that was fixable. And now we got space jump. Jump a lot midair, try it. Can't get some more simple than that. We got some other brain music. I don't know if I triggered the alarm. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what happens. Oh, nothing came in. Interesting. So we tripped the alarm, no big deal. Okay, we're cut off from that for now. The alarm will go back off, right? Okay, doesn't seem like it does. 
Alarm is still on. Things are still shut. So we're gonna wanna get rid of these guys over here before they get over here. If they ever decide to. Okay, so what you wanna do is bomb this suspicious tile. And boom, skip that one. But you can plan to do your potentially first set of power bombs. So then you can come up here. Dodge those. Thing is open. Goes in here. Bit, bit suspicious. And there's an alarm we can't get past a uh, tripwire. So, you have to trip that alarm, by the way. But that's okay, you can get out after that. I made sure of it. So, I got some pirates that want to end you. So, you come back this way. Crap, I'm locked in. Uh, you can stand here all you want, the alarm's not going to turn off. So, you come back in here. Alright, your door's your ways blocked. It's a missile block. And what do you know? Same room. I am particularly proud of that. Uh, it's probably my favorite room. Also, the the alarm is rainbow colors. In case you haven't noticed, we're also gonna want to wait for this room. Actually, yeah. Don't shoot me, please. Oh, I wanted the health. That's okay. See, we got that. We're locked out of that. Oh, we got some angry pirates. So, those space pirates are vulnerable to super missiles. Which is good to know, because there's quite a bit of them in the escape sequence. They're also vulnerable to normal missiles. Oh, I didn't wait long enough. Uh, the only bad thing is you can't really tell how long the alarm is out here. You kind of just have to guess, which is probably not a good thing. But I'm not updating this hack anymore. I want to work on a full hack, so. So, okay, it's off. We grab this missile up here. So this is a uh, earlier in 1.3 of a spot where you could get perma stuck. You could actually get through these gates because uh, I had them set up differently, and you can get back there, which you couldn't get out of after that because that's part of the escape. So that was that's no good. So I fix that, and since you have space jump. Intended way is for you to get out of here with space jump, but you can also uh, speed boost and shine spark out of here. So we have another stop before we go and beat the game. We have a couple more items we want to get. We have to go back up to this large room. Fill that squ map square in. And this door is unlocked. Interesting. So this door is unlocked because we actually unlocked the spawn room door. So they unlock each other. Um, this one can be unlocked after you kill Ridley. Uh, the other one can be unlocked after you kill Imago. But if you unlock either one before the other, the other one will also unlock. So uh, that actually wasn't intentional. 
but uh, it worked out nice, so there's multiple things, ways you can do it. And there we go. Best room in the hack. Make a good room. So we got some fake items in here, some real items. There's actually four items in here total. One of each kind, an energy tank, a missile, a missile, and a power bomb. So, and I edited the map in a way to where it would show you when there's nothing left. I.e. there's just a dot. So, that was that little easter egg room. Because easter eggs are great. And with that we can go beat the game. So that's actually this way. Oh man, that guy actually scared me. Yeah, that guy ambushes you pretty hard. And you're gonna want to shine spark in there because you can't get out once. Like once you come this way, you can bomb that. And that'll be a missile tile, and then you realize you need to be boosted to get in here. You got some. Skull fishes and a couple items. And a safe room. This one doesn't recharge your health. Uh, that's just because there's a recharge station shortly after. I just figured it'd be kind of redundant. But it'd probably be more convenient if I did put that as a recharge station. So as you can see, something's watching us. It's supposed to be a little hint for something that's coming up. We got space vessel again. trying to morph and start getting my uh, stuff back before I picked up the item but oh well. So that's Ice Beam. Freeze your foes in the same way they froze the planet. Seems pretty noble. So let's go on our merry way. I walked in and that's clanking noises. safe zone up here if you have space jump. Ouch. Nice aim. So he's slightly buffed. Uh, he takes 10 supers to kill. His damage is the same as vanilla, but due to his room placement, it can s and the current items you may or may not have, he can seem like quite a pain. Pirates have been alerted, leave and destroy their vessel. Alright, let's do it. Items gone. And we got the Disco Ray vessel. Originally, there are a bunch of items in the escape. Uh, those are to act as refills and such. Um, also, that was because the timer wasn't functional before then. Uh, but when I fixed the timer, the, the items messed it up, so I had to move them out of the escape. And items in the escape are bad anyway. So here we got some dancing pirates. There's no use to them. I just added them in here because this used to be a shortcut. Uh, and I figured I might not, I don't want to waste that room design, so I might as well put something there. So, for those of you that played before 1.3, you'd usually come down this way, but that's been changed. You don't have to go this way. This room looks familiar. 
off me. Got that. Doors are locking behind us. Oh boy. A rope robot. Well, we don't want to wait for this, so. There's a little line right there. that pirate. And just like that, we're leaving. And it freezes on the color you're on because the alarm technically stops at that point. The white snowy background of the planet. One last rave before the Mothership blows up. And a very interesting looking planet atmosphere. And just like that, mission accomplished. And these credits are no different because there's no credits editor in the age at the moment. And I did not have the time, nor oh, did I want to put forth the effort into changing them. So I'm just going to skip this, because we all know we've all likely seen the credits before. And here we go, got ourselves nice Samus, and we got ourselves a shack tool. 28 minutes, 40 seconds. 100%. So, that's that. That is... That is Deep Freeze. Uh, hard mode. Uh, it does have slight changes in it, if you wanted to try that out. Uh, low percent. Um, has been altered to 33%, I believe is the minimum. Uh, so the item percent has obviously been altered because in 1.2, uh, 42% or 44, one of those were the max, and now 100% is a max. So credits to BIOS work for that. Um, if I could, I would have edited the original Metroid 2 just to have hack and a hack, that would be awesome. But that's effort anyway. So now you can try insane mood. Oh, we're not gonna do that, but there are uh, eight endings, uh, the same as vanilla, and they're all, they're all different. So I suggest you go and earn them. Uh, and some of them are kind of hard to get, um, but some of them aren't. Easy ending uh, is easy to get. You just complete it on easy mode. Uh, normal ending, just complete the game on normal or hard, uh, any percent without getting 100% of items. Uh, you could also do low percent for normal or hard. You could do 100% for normal or hard. And you can also uh, take two to four hours to beat the game, which is the least likely one you'll see because this hack is not that long. But otherwise, that's it for Deep Freeze. 
I suggest you try it out. And uh, if you're interested in hacking Zero Mission or Fusion, feel free to join Metroid Construction or our Mage Discord uh, where Biospark and I reside and a few others that are into the Metroid hacking scene at the moment, such as Felix Wright and uh, Rhyme Mage and others. So we'll help you out and get you started and maybe even make you some code if you need it. But uh, thanks for watching and I hope to see more hacks like this out there that aren't created by me and are created by you guys. Because odds are you'll have a lot better ideas than I do because I'm not a creative person. But yeah, see ya.